Welcome to this video, Proving the Native American Ancestor Based on Consensus. Already a long time ago Consensus proposed to order Y-DNA haplogroups in order to prove the human ancestor. 1. In alphabetical order like A, B, C, D, E all the way to R. 2. In related groups like Q blue, C and D yellow and purple, E green and R red. 3. As a tree that has the ancestor of all humans at the top. Our approach in this video will be clinical and only based on science. C is clearly early and important in populating the world. D and especially E are important in populating Africa. There are certain indications for the landing of C but also D in Japan, especially if one parts from the fundamentals that indicate the amaranth as ancestor of all humans. The only realistic currents and routes that could have brought C and possibly D to these locations remote from Africa are the equatorial Pacific currents. The same is the case for C in Australia. Similar is the case for Q in Indonesia and Southeast Asia. Q being the proven ancestor is obviously very old and probably early on wiped out. 1. In Japan, Australia, Indonesia and Southeast Asia by its own direct descendants like mainly C and later D. 2. In Africa by its own descendants like mainly E. 3. In Western Eurasia by its own descendants like mainly R. Resuming, Q and C are giants in time and in space are proven ancestors and present clear characteristics as well as the ancestral and migrational behavior of the ancestors of all humans. Above all, the Americas, with Q and C clearly dominant until recently, have been proven to be the ancestors of all humans by science and its most important fundamentals and markers. As expected consensus, that still does not support Q and C as ancestors, did not present Q in this tree, but when one interprets clinically that what is proven by science, the ancestor and thus Q is positioned at the top of the tree, this would see in its descending footsteps. A and B are end of the line because it is a clear and undeniable fact that their haplogroups and members never left Africa and hardly survived and exist inside of Africa. Haplogroups A and B and the related haplogroup mitochondrial haplogroups L are insignificant when it comes to populating the world, and for the above reason I leave A and B out of this video, this for simplicity and to avoid distraction. Nevertheless, A and B are studied in detail in other videos and the claims here are undeniably confirmed. This makes that C becomes the first letter in the leftover alphabetical order, and C has proven its roots in a clear presence in the Americas and next in Asia and Australia. Second to Q, C is also a giant in time and in space, in fact Q and C are the only giants. Differently from A and B, C is not an end of a line, but a beginning of several lines, for starters at least two being D and E and possibly a subgroup of C in the now presented limited tree but also the mosaic. Further D and E descend from C and are related and present the same mutation that no other group presents. This mutation typical for D and E is strongly associated with black skin and Austronesian DNA, that on its turn is associated to Native American ancestral root DNA, and related peoples with black skin can be found on the migration routes of C and descendants D and E all the way from Oceania, Australia and Japan to Africa. This means and proves that D in Asia and E in Africa are end of the lines just like A and B are end of the lines. Unlike A and B, E is able to dominate Africa and probably severely pushed back A and B and before Q to deserts and for them unexplorable dense tropical forests. This while D could take hold and hold on in Asia. So all so-called African groups like A, B and E and even D are proven to be end of the lines. This most probably is so because of the out of the Americas and its obvious competition of its ancestors Q and C and their descendants D and E, and especially of R, which has its roots and significant presence in the Americas and Australia and is able to explore all possible routes. In the bi-consensus alphabetical order or ABC, D comes next to C, and D comes from the area that is covered by C, that includes what is today Australia. Obviously C and D carry Native American DNA and Native American DNA has its roots in the Americas. Thank you for watching. Bye.